Every driver dreams of winning the Daytona 500. Michael Waltrip dreams just of winning this race, any race, to break that big 0 for streak, 0 for 462. I don't know if I can stand this or not. Come on, buddy. you got two to go. Come on, don't give up now. Just stay under him, Dale Jr. Just stay under him, buddy. Two to go, bud. Two to go. Out of way. The calm voice of the spotter. Look at Chuck Dale. Joyce reassuring Michael Walter. Dale has done. Sterling has beat the front end off that, that old Dodge trying to get around Dale. Sterling, is there room between Earnhardt and Schrader? Yes, he gets to the outside. Then right. drops back in line. All right, here we go now. This is when it's going to get tense, boys. This is, when, this is when we're going to find out. We're coming around for the white flag. Four Chevys, a Pontiac, a Ford, and a Dodge. To fight it out, three miles to the finish of the Daytona 500. If he can survive this run, he'll be okay. Nobody's doing anything. They're all holding. Go get him. Come on, buddy. One to go. The last lap. One to go, buddy. Keep it low, Mikey. Keep it low. Don't let them under you. Make that back straight away wide, buddy. Get all over the place. Don't let them run up on you. Come on, man. Come on now. Watch the mirror. Watch it. He's going to make a run inside. Block him. Block him. That up, boy. Three wide behind them. You got him, Mikey. You got him, man. You got him. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Come on. Get him in the fold. Get him in the The three cars out. Oh, big trouble. Big wreck behind them. Beat him back. Come on. To the flag. Come on, Mikey. You got it, man. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Mikey. Michael Walton wins. All right. It's a television dream come true. Right. How about Dale? Is he okay? Schrader has climbed out of his car. He and Earnhardt have crashed together. Olivia turns three and four. Look at Buck. You may have got me on Saturday, but I got you on Sunday. Daryl, is this better than winning it? No, it's better than winning it. This is great. I just hope Dale's okay. I guess he's all right, isn't he? Oh. Michael Man. Waltrip takes off the helmet, drops the window net, and he's about to get the best ride in racing. Man. The Daytona 500 victory lane. My daddy would be so happy. Man. Michael Waltrip has won the Daytona 500. Tears running down his cheeks as he comes to victory lane. We'll be right back. Earnhardt to get out of his car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. at a dead run toward the track's infield care center. So while his car owner, here's what happened up in turn three. Oof. Oh, this is this is huge because you go head on. And that TV does not do that justice. That is an incredible impact. Head on. Throws you forward in the car. Uh, those are the kind of accidents that absolutely are frightening. While rescue workers attend to Dale Earnhardt, who is still in his car, his driver is... And it's, it's, as excited as I am for Michael and as proud as I am of him, I, I just, I'm praying for Dale. Uh, he's back down there, and they're still working down there, so we need to worry about him. Earnhardt's number three. Head on into the wall at 190 miles an hour. He almost got upside down. That car got very high off the ground. And they're going to they're going to cut him out of the car. And Earnhardt is on his feet. Dale Earnhardt attempting to walk to the ambulance. Never, never doubt that cliche about Dale Earnhardt. One tough customer gives the thumbs up as he walks away from one of the worst incidents in his racing career. Earnhardt was removed from his car, and you see the ambulance transporting him directly to Halifax Medical Center in Daytona Beach, which fortunately is but two miles from the speedway. That's all the news we have. If we don't get a further update on Earnhardt's condition, 
during our telecast. Tune into Victory Lane at 9 p.m. on Fox Sports Net tonight. There, it looked like when Rusty run up there through the middle, it maybe just took the air off Dale Spore and got him loose. I don't think anybody got yeah, into him at all. Sterling may have gotten into him just a teeny bit and got him got him headed up the hill. Hard to say. Uh, Here's the onboard view. Those kind of licks are the worst kind. They're sudden. Inside. 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 Three wide. Inside. 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 Detail. So he never had a chance. Plus, Schrader was riding him into the wall. Uh, so you get the impact of not only one car, but two cars. Looks like right there. Maybe you know, right there, Sterling, Sterling did get Sterling into him. Sterling got yes. into him, yes. and here he goes. Yes. And Man, he's being, not only is he going into the wall, but he's got Schrader riding in there with him. Yeah. So. And luckily they didn't take another six cars with them. Yeah, but that's, uh, I, I don't like that. Uh, that's uh, not the kind of crash, uh, that's the kind of crash that hurts you. Genie? It's, it's just someone runs into someone for no reason, that's all. I mean, that's, you know, the rules are fantastic. They've really got a good rules package. Kenny, let me ask you, I know you've been throwing this question several times, and you're just getting out of the care center, but you, you made your way over to Dale's situation. What's going on there? Uh, I, I don't really know. I'm not a doctor. I mean, I, I got the heck out of the way as soon as they got there. And how about yourself? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just thinking about Dale and him, guys. Can you take us through that? that those final I don't know what there? happened. All of a sudden, we was all crashing. It was started behind me, but I got I got part of it. Thanks for the time. After seeing, Kenny, after seeing what happened today, is this kind of... On the final turn of the final lap with Waltrip and Dale Jr. leading for the checkered flag, Earnhardt's fame number three got loose in a battle for third and turned up into the wall, taking Kenny Schrader with him. When the car slid to a stop, Schrader climbed out unhurt, but Earnhardt had to be cut from his wreck and taken directly to nearby Halifax Hospital, where he was pronounced dead due to massive injuries to his head and chest. Adding to the irony of the day, the first and second place cars of Waltrip and Earnhardt Jr. are owned by Earnhardt Sr.